The Spanish Announce Table. All right, after that segment, we got the women's match, Britt Baker versus Layla Hirsch. The- Layla Hirsch needs to be in Team Taz. I think it just has to be. She is a four foot eleven Taz. She's awesome. She flips people. She suplexes them all. Team Taz needs a female presence. Let's put Layla Hirsch. I've seen it online. I'm now 100% behind it. Put Layla Hirsch and Team Taz. Make her a little assassin where she just throws bitches everywhere. We did see Britt Baker get the victory due to some shenanigans from uh, Rebel or Reba, whatever you want to say. It was a fun match. Again, women's matches are always fine and then we move on however post-match we did see thunder rosa beat up Britt baker i do like that they gave a little bit of story behind why these two don't like each other where Britt baker's like you're an nwa you don't belong here almost mean girls-esque and thunder rosa's like i'll beat your fucking ass so i'd like the now that we have uh an understanding of why these two girls don't like each other uh but post-match and post-segment i left thinking Layla Hirsch needs to be standing next to Brian Cage and they just do mixed tag matches where they just throw every fucking person out of the ring. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not opposed to any of that. Um, the, the team Taz thing, I, I like it. And I like, because again, it's a bunch of badass dudes going around doing badass things. And like you said, we can add a badass, add the gender terms, in in 2020 as it sounds they're starting to be passe i just want to find like a generic term to mean any person but like here comes you know as you're saying hirsch uh could be cool um i just there's still like the storyline with cody is cool because of the taz cody personal thing but beyond that like team taz could use some better direction of like a purpose like taz is i like the idea of like hey the storyline behind the hey we want this title to be recognized if we're ultimately going to do that if there's a payoff mm-hmm. right the fdw right. title becomes a title but if not there needs to be something right he needs to be chasing the titles and he needs to be the bobby heenan kind of guy or mm-hmm. something but just right now it feels kind of influx it's like yeah but why yeah uh, to me the only thing that's missing on team Taz. And this is not an indictment on the character himself. I think he, uh, as a solo act, shoot him to the moon, but Ricky Starks sticks out like a sore thumb. Cause yeah. you've got powerhouse will Hobbs or powerhouse Hobbs, or whatever powerhouse we're Hobbs. It's so good. Power- powerhouse Hobbs. Yeah. Powerhouse Hobbs. You got Brian cage. Who's a fucking, you know, action figure. We got Taz. Who's notorious as one of the meanest, dirtiest, grumpiest, bastards uh, you know there is and then you got ricky starks who does like the modeling poses and wears the 900 hundred dollar, you know loafers and stuff it's like yeah, it looks like eh. a new rick the model martel that should be his gimmick the new well, rick well, the model martel right well i think it is i think it is but it just doesn't yeah. mesh with team taz but now, he should go all in he should go in as like i'm a fucking paris model like fucking yeah. just go full bore well, he does the pose, and again, it's it's like, I like him. I think he's awesome. I think he's the yep. future of AEW top-tier talent going forward into 2021 and beyond. I just don't feel like he fits in with this group. That's what I'm saying. Layla Hirsch fits in with this group. Ricky Starks, in my opinion, doesn't. The Spanish Announce Table.